minutes on this video to dedicate all the images from all across the world of fantastic people that just want to show people the truth that our skies have changed and also they are being heavily chemtrailed we are seeing dark shadows we are seeing strange light reflections from heavily objects now wormwood is a true celestial body that's also been documented in the Bible and again many truthers have spoke out about this so please enjoy this video as we continue the research for planet X Here we have this first photograph that's coming from Leon from South Africa. Now he states he takes images of the moon and last night he noticed the moon did look very strange. He noticed a white object far too bright to be the moon and this again is all chemtrails he sees in the skies. They are spraying Africa and many other parts of the world all the time as well. This is another fantastic photograph proving that there's something wrong. The moon is brightening up far too bright as we've got huge reflections from other bodies that are out in our inner solar system. So thank you Leon for this photograph. Here is the next image as well from Leon from Africa. I mean you can, again you can see all these lines again produced by harp and a strange light source a white object. I mean it's far too bright to be our celestial body the moon. Far too bright because there is huge reflections coming from other light sources. Just a fantastic photograph and again thank you for your images. Thank you also for your kind email because we are seeing differences in our skies. Okay we've got two attachments here from Mike Scott from the USA and he states as well since he started watching the videos Beforehand he was a non-believer of uh, what's going on up in the skies but then taking note of the, uh, the videos that we produce every day as many times as possible he's looking at the photographs and then taking notice of his skies and he is absolutely shocked as well to what is going on and you can clearly see on this screen as well very dim and also you've got this other reflection come through all this you see on the screen is just poisonous, a blanket of chems, hiding the truth. Why also chemtrail the moon? As you saw on Leon's images at the beginning of the video, the moon area that you can see the sighting of is being chemtrailed and also the moon looks far too bright so there's something going on. Let's have another look at Mike's next image. Okay this is early morning rise, different photograph. Now. We all know that those lines in the skies are just uh, to cover the truth. They use these poisons to spray our skies so they stick and they just uh, cling on together and they just stay in one place. It's like a, a huge screen to hide the truth. Now look at the, uh, the reflection and also this situation with the soul of the sun right now becomes like a white object in the sky. We all know this, don't we? But it is getting darker, isn't it, as the soul rises. This is why they spray in front of it the area of the soul so we can't see that dim and dark patch in the sky. But now it's getting much more evident. So I please ask everybody to keep an eye on the uh, sun rise. OK, we have two more attachments that have come in from Dennis Fields from Oklahoma. Now he is taking a video image of the soul. You can see this can't you? But on the next photograph is very interesting because we see huge pink reflections behind them chemtrails, all that haze. Let me show you the next image. Okay this is the next photograph that's come in from Dennis and 
to the right side we're seeing a pink reflection very strong isn't it all this again is to cover the truth you see the pink haze here different color to this it's much much stronger isn't it now we've seen other videos that have been sent in by other kind subscribers and they are seeing a round pink reflection aren't they on the horizons to the left and to the right so on the sundown it is very important that we see this now these past couple of days on sundown there's been strong pink reflections again now a couple of days ago as well from the other side of sundown there was a huge pink light source I mean it is coming more and more evident every day so thank you again Dennis for these images okay we've got some attachments that have come through from different dates from Shana a lady friend kind subscriber sends a lot of uh, messages in as well I translate them and she's fully aware that there's something very strange going on she has got a brilliant view where she lives and she takes some excellent photographs we all do we take some brilliant photographs and we want the ones that show the proof it's very important and this is how we're doing this we are waking more people up each time and also new people that have now started to watch the channel are starting to become much more aware because they're seeing this chemtrail activity and also these strange colors that they've never seen before so that's absolutely brilliant that other people now have started to notice the skies are changed now on this photograph okay you can now see from the other side there's a light source isn't there can you see this now this is coming from northeast just again you can see the date here's September the 3rd this year and she's collected these images through the uh, the weeks and stored them and then produced them and showed me sent me them this evening so I am now showing you these images because again it is very important to see the past days as well to notice in the changes so thank you for this image and I will now show you the next image from this kind lady okay this next photograph was dated September 1st 2017 and look at those colors different colors that are reflecting in our skies you can see this as well and look how dim and dark it is and we're seeing these strange formations these strange clouds that were not there in the past I mean again this is happening all across the world we're seeing these strange formations and the dim skies now also it's very important here in the northern hemisphere around 3 p.m. it gets very very dark for about an hour or so and also if you notice at 10 a.m. in the morning it also dims and darkens for an hour or so so we're seeing this shadow to the right hand side it is very important to keep an eye on that as well so I'm going to move to another one of these photographs okay Shanna sent this in as well from Brazil I mean look at this dated October the 5th 2017 and you are seeing a huge light source this is not from the solar sun because this is coming from the other side look at this color in the sky it still amazes many of us and myself that the members of the public are not looking up and noticing these light sources these strange lights this reflection in the sky from another heavenly object now that image that you can see on the screen is absolutely spectacular isn't it so I mean thank you for sending this photograph in because it proves that there's something wrong okay this next photograph now you can see can't you that pink haze this is again from the other side of sundown look at this pink reflection here all this is uh, chemtrail everything is being covered and cloaked look at this again as well this other strange cloud that we see every single day this pink haze at the top here as well an amazing photograph and also thank you for these images because again it is important to make sure other people around the world get their photograph sent in to be shown now this kind lady has stored our images and sent them through the days and I respect that as well so it's important to do that to store photographs and then send seven or eight different ones through different days okay I've got this photograph that's come in from Mario from Italy now he says in his email 
the image is quite blurry because he's using a mobile phone to take this photograph and he was absolutely astonished to notice from the other side there was this pink reflection this pink light source that's coming through now we all know as I've said on other videos that the Sun the soul when it goes down you will see a red reflection because of our atmosphere it reflects now with this pink color that we see as well on the other side of the horizon is not from the soul it is from wormwood and it will get stronger we will see this haze a lot stronger through the months and it is becoming more evident isn't it so I apologize about the screen being slightly blurry but there you can see that true pink reflection from wormwood okay we've got this attachment that's come through from lorry from Tennessee's and she noticed from the other side there was a huge light source that's behind all these chems now look at that reflection as well we saw that very similar sort of shape from the other side from Brazil on the other photographs look at this uh, reflection again it's just something else that we never saw in the 1980s and the other earlier years there was none of this at all so just another step of evidence that we're seeing that our skies are changed. We have some fantastic images that come through by this kind subscriber Steve. Now this chap, okay, is from Cambridge in the UK and he is now starting to look to the skies and he is noticing those changes. On this photograph you can clearly see, can't you, the soul colour to the sun to the right side and we've got another reflection from the companion star Nemesis. Can you see this orange tinge across these chemtrails? Very evident isn't it? Now I do go on about these chemtrails quite a lot because they are there. There's no doubt in it that this 100% we are seeing chemtrails. Not contrails, poisons in the sky. Now I got an email off a chap as well from London stating are they chemtrailing to be able to pick up the reflection from these objects to also study for themselves to know that they're still there sort of we're seeing a lot of strange colors on the reflections all the time we're seeing this and are they also looking up as well because again I do believe that they are 100% keeping their eyes to the skies as well the powers that be and also NASA they've been tracking this for a long time using high-powered telescopes, infrared technology. They've even sent out infrared technology before in the past, stating that they've broken down and none of the, uh, the information or the photographs have been uh, disputed to anybody else. And it is so obvious that they are covering this huge event. Everything is being covered. The public will be the last ones to know. So again, it's just important to get these images out. I'm going to show the next image now for this kind guy. Here is the next photograph from Steve as well. And this is very important to, to explain this photograph. Okay, now we do see the soul going down. We can see that yellow reflection. And also the soul does cause like a red reflection as well in the skies. But when you see this photograph, you can see this pink haze as well, can't you? Here and across here above. Now, this isn't from the soul. It's from something else. We have got an object that's in front of us and the soul between us. And these reflections are getting stronger. Can you can see that purple haze as well up in the skies behind this chemtrail. I mean, all this again. It is happening right now. Here also in the UK, we're seeing the strangest of skies around. Also, emails from Russia, Australia, the Far East. I mean, the list carries on. We've got thousands of uh, emails. And I still got to try and get my head round to reading all of them. I try my best. I even try my best as well to comment and leave comments on the message board to everybody that sends in messages, because I believe respecting one another is very important in these times as it is a very very um, 
important subject, isn't it? And we all got to uh, keep focused and be pleasant and positive. That's the main key to uh, try and catch the right images to produce onto video so we can just work together. It's so important to work in together. This is another image from Cambridgeshire by this kind subscriber. Can you see that rainbow reflection? All this as well, look at all this. Dust in the skies, what we breathe in all the time. Now, he states in an email as well that the sunrise is dimming, it is darkening. Now, these people are genuine members of the public that have noticed the channel, and looked up to the skies. They've been on Earth for many years. We all have, haven't we? We were all born on Mother Earth. And whilst living on Mother Earth, we've noticed that the skies, we always look up at the skies. It's natural for all of us, isn't it? And to see the birds, the plant life, everything. It's so natural for us to do this. So again, are they trying to dumb us down to forget about the past? It is so hard to try and find a photograph of the soul, the sun, from the earlier years. They've taken it all down. They've taken down the information all the time. So look at this as well, this rainbow. It's upside down. It's a reflection coming from a heavenly body. There is something that's reflecting strong in our skies. Another fantastic photograph. We have this next image that's come through from Steve as well. I mean, look at the skies here on this uh, photograph. It's absolutely amazing how they still think they can get away with this. But still people from around the world look up and think everything's fine. They think these are just passenger airline jets going across the skies and all this is just normal clouds. But what you can see is, okay, for 10 a.m. in the morning, look at the dimness on these buildings. Look how dark it is. People are now driving around with their headlights on early hours through the late morning times as well. You can just see the dimness and this white object. It's far too dim, isn't it? Everything is starting to uh, show up, the truth. This also is another photograph from Steve and he states as well, I mean the cloud system just became very low. Can you see these on the screen? These strange clouds. Now we see a lot of these, don't we, that are just on the horizon being pushed away. But he just said it was very surreal. It was just like it, they were just coming very much lower and lower through the sky and he saw this white object again. Haze, it is chemtrails. I mean it is. The whole scenario of our sky system is changing and still the weather, the news media are just saying that everything is just fine. We have more fantastic attachments coming in from Thomas from Thailand. Now Thailand is a long way away isn't it and it is cool isn't it that we are now getting photographs from many different parts of the world. It's so important and he states on these images and his email that the sky change, everything is changing on the sky system. To the right, he says the plants are just being destroyed and all this chemtrail activity, thousands of feet high. So I'm going to go to the next image. With the next photograph, he states as well that these system, the cloud system, just seem very low in the skies and they moved very strangely across the sky like they were being controlled. Just another piece of evidence that there is something going on because people are stating as well on emails that the cloud system does seem to move very very strangely and also clouds this one here he states move to this side as the other one was drifting to the other side so I mean it is becoming very very strange this is Thomas's other image and he does say as well he does see these strange clouds that just seem to be lifted upwards and all this up here as well, he stated in his email that he heard many military jets flying thousands of feet high, spraying the skies. And then all this was produced. And still he states that many people in Thailand are just not looking up to the skies. And we will continue to show these images on videos and hope that other people become aware of this. So. 
Thomas, thank you for these uh, amazing images. And please, again, keep safe where you are. We have a fantastic photograph that's come in from Lisa from Reading in the UK. And this is what I see as well in the morning skies. I did explain just then on a couple of photographs that at the 10 a.m. sky in the UK, please look up and around as well. On the trees, you will see a strange reflection, a strange light source. Now, this area you see here, okay, is the area of the soul. Can you see the outline here? But can you see the center of the image? This will be the simulator. There's something in front of it. Look on the ground. Look at this color. Really, honestly, it's so in important to take note that the ground, the color is wrong. Look on the trees. It's like it's fluorescent. It doesn't look like the normal soul yellow color that we've seen before. And it's affecting everything. It affects the ground, the trees, the sky, no birds. Again, this kind subscriber reports this too. Now this is a lens flare, we know this. But look at all this trash, this chemtrailing again, and it is causing a problem. We are seeing a dimming of our skies. So another fantastic photograph of more evidence that's coming through. Okay, we've got a photograph that's come through from Robotoid. Now this guy is amazing as well. He's very persistent and he just wants the truth. He knows there's something wrong and he understands fully that they also chemtrail the moon. Now look on this photograph. Look how bright the moon is. Now what he stated in his email that when he looked at the moon he didn't see any of the lines or the craters or anything. It was just a huge white light source that we do see with the soul of the sun. This white object again. Are they doing it to the moon? Look again, if you look clearly on the photograph, you can see all this is chemtrails. Produced again and lined up and controlled by HARP. All of it. It is looking very strange, isn't it? So again, thank you for your image, Robotoid. Here is another photograph from Vilma from Jacksonville. And she states as well that it just become very dark. Still at 11 a.m. And... You can just see, can't you, the greyness of this uh, sky and also this white object. Look on the building as well, the reflections, the dark shadows. It should be much more lighter than we have seen as well on videos from the past. This is another great capture, proving that the soul, the area that you see on the screen, is being covered up by that object that's above our Earth's atmosphere, being controlled by NASA. They are using this simulator to hide the truth. They know it's coming and it is a time to prepare. I did send that video out as well on the 4th to prepare for this event. Now, I do these uh, preparing videos as well because I just want to get the words out and I just feel that it's important to um, try to uh, establish a situation to sort out some sort of um, prepping. It is important and also with uh, other information as well. We really need to uh, try and get some words out to the public. We really do. It's important. Okay, we've got this next photograph coming in from Tony Massey, this kind man that sends images in all the time and he states that the chemtrails started again, the morning skies. And also, before the Sol the Sun rose up, you can see here on the screen, there was a bright light source that just came across and it lasted five or ten minutes and then went dim again, lighting up the land. You can see again the car lights here, but then it just lit up. And we've had images and also emails from other subscribers saying the same thing. And this has occurred also on webcams, the Alaska cams, I've seen this. And it is very strange, isn't it? Tony also took this photograph as well. And you can see again, just trash, haze, chemtrails in the sky through the day. Just more evidence, isn't it? We are still being sprayed all the time. And he also states the trees are just dried up for this time of the year. Very, very sad, isn't it? Let's go to the next image. It's interesting to see this next image as well. Now, during the sundown, 
you can clearly see for the other side there's something else reflecting through. Can you see this? All this again is just chemtrails. I mean they're spending trillions of dollars to do this. Now the team at geoengineering with NASA say oh it's not costing a, a lot to do this. We are not spending much money to get this sorted out. But again, they just lie, lie after lie, because they are spending our taxpayers' money. We are coughing up to get this done, right out of our pockets. And it is amazing how we do not have the right to say anything. But we have to figure out a way to start coming out with this, to try and get this truth out. Now, I will try again over the weekend to phone the BBC and other news media channels. I said I wouldn't stop and I will try my best. Now, also, I will go to see if I can try and arrange an interview with a pilot to speak with him to see if he sees those chemtrails as well. Or even if I have a microphone on me so I can pick up the information he speaks about so we can produce this on video so I can make sure that you listen to what he said because any sort of information about this is highly important so we can connect the dots together. So again this is another fantastic image. Thank you again Tony for these photographs. I just had this next image just recently come in again by Tony and you can see now again think back when you saw that reflection of the soul cutting through those uh, trees okay now it would be a yellow color wouldn't it but look here it's far too white far too bright more chemtrails again now when we see this white object they do heavily chemtrail but have you noticed that some days or some weeks you will see the activity of the chemtrails and then all of a sudden for about a week they don't chemtrail but then we do see the yellow soul we see more of a yellow object don't we but then when we see this white object they start heavily chemtrailing now we do have a lot of solar activity with the sun still and also we need to talk about this on further videos because something is agitating the soul it's supposed to have calmed down now but it isn't it's still blasting out huge CME solar activity and it's also weakening our Earth's magnetic field. Now still people are unaware of this because one of those blasts will just take down the power grid, it will take us by surprise, all of it will just go. Everything that we use that's electrical will just shut down now that is very important to get them words out, isn't it? So we just got to continue, haven't we, to uh, show these photographs, show these images. Now also on these next images, okay, coming through from Roxanne. Now this kind of subscriber is also from the USA. Now you've got to look at these photographs very clear because what we're seeing here as well is two colors. Look at this red haze. Now we see a lot of this red haze right across the horizons. Okay? All across the horizons we're seeing this. We've had many photographs as well coming in from Swansea in Wales from Mary. She is a fantastic subscriber and also sending images in. And I will show her images on another video because I'm going to leave you with this photograph because I've got many photographs that are being sent in and I will produce all of them to uh, catch people's attention to notice, noticing those changes. Now look at this orange haze here and this pink haze. These are colors from other objects reflecting. And we see this strange cloud formation again, don't we? With no reflections on them at all because it's chemicals. And also HARP moves these strange formated cloud systems to cover other truth of the skies that are changing. She also 
describes that these trees, like this one here, is just dying. It hasn't been as healthy as like the other years. So I'm going to leave you with this and I will be back again very shortly to do another video of the changed skies and also I will try and get myself to speak to a pilot about what he thinks and what he says about chemtrail planes. So take care and more footage very shortly. Love and respect from Matt Rogers.